Hello everyone, it's Chris Pritt back again with a new topic in West Virginia divorce. Today we're going to be talking about school records. A question I get a lot of times is whether a parent is going to have access to a child's school records. And the answer to that is generally yes. Now what happens is at the end of the day, once you go through the whole process, you are going to have a court order. And in that court order, it's either going to specifically talk about things like access to medical records and, and school records and so forth, or what it's going to do is it's going to incorporate by reference an agreed parenting plan or some sort of a parenting plan for the parties to follow. And in that parenting plan, what you're gonna have is a lot of things laid out, one of which should be access to uh, records. It might be in the court order, it might be in the actual parenting plan. And so generally speaking, as a, and this is as a general rule of thumb, there's always exceptions to this. A court order is going to specifically reference everything that you are going to have access to. And one of those things that you are going to have access to, um, unless there's a, a very good reason why not, is your child's school records. So what you can do is, uh, and sometimes I've run into this issue in the past, sometimes, uh, schools for whatever reason will not allow a parent to have access to, for example, um, um, school records. And they, they are of the belief that somehow, well, if one person's the custodial parent, then that means the other person does not have access to the records. And the general rule is that you are going to have access to those records. And what we always try to do at our office when we're drafting the orders or when, for example, the other side in a case is drafting the order and we have to approve it, what we always try to make sure is in there is language that specifically states that both parents have equal access to the records. And, uh, and that's what the courts are going to order anyways, unless there's a very good reason why not. And there's a number of reasons why that might not be the case, but to the extent that it, it is allowed or not allowed, it has nothing to do with whether one parent is the custodial parent or what you might consider the primary resident, residential custodial parent and if the other person is the um, non-custodial parent. It, it doesn't work that way in West Virginia. So both parents should have equal access to any kind of records uh, whether, the, whether the child is primary living with them or not. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, there are various reasons why that might not be the case but at the same time, um, it's, it's usually not put into a court order. So that consists of today's video. If you have any questions at all, feel free to give me a call or send me an email. Have a good day.